Even if you don't use diesel to drive, you should pay attention to these costs, too. Because diesel just doesn't power those trucks, but trains, boats, farming equipment, all vital to keep the economy moving. KSHP 41 News reporter Leslie Delisbor spoke to a trucking company and a metro economist. They share why those issues contribute to what we shell out for everyday goods. As a driver, like, it's, we've been coming to work every day. Just trucking along, truck drivers and companies are feeling the supply chain and inflation impact. Right now, you know, the last two years between, between the COVID issues and the staffing challenges, it's certainly been... It's, certain, it's certainly been a challenge. Challenges that start with finding drivers to deliver goods. There's been a historic low in CDLs, qualified CDL candidates. We hire within as well, not just off the street. So you're talking about dock workers, even management that want to become drivers. Something that economist Anthony Ross says is a way forward. I call that, you know, this whole idea of trucking companies now looking at their talent pool as a farm system to proactively recruit and solicit, prepare, invest, and develop drivers of tomorrow. But companies like Estes Express Kansas City are trying to stay optimistic. But with the hike in fuel prices, Ross says that can be difficult. When trucking companies pay at the pump, if you will, um, and, and buy, procure their supply of diesel fuel, their prices go up. But then the prices surge, and so now the companies uh, are stuck in the middle with regard to, you know, price escalation and price de-escalation, right? And so if my fuel costs go up, for, for my for my shipments, then I've got to charge uh, someone uh, in that supply chain a little higher price to try to recoup some of my increased costs. Trickling down to your wallet. If the transportation costs are increasing, right, somehow or another, those increased costs have to be absorbed. And so the question is, who absorbs those costs uh, in the supply chain? And I partially believe it that we as consumers are seeing increased costs uh, at the retail uh, store, uh, whether it be online or brick and mortar, and um, at the gas pump. In Kansas City, Leslie Dellisport, KSHB 41 News.